What up, peoples? It's your boy Sticky Fingers from Onyx, you know what I mean? I'm over here at G4 TV. We about to do the Freestyle 101. I'm about to go in the booth and burn it down, all right? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sticky Fingers in the studio. When I'm in the studio, you know it's C4. Doing this shit for my niggas, the G4. My career up and down like a fucking seesaw. Yeah, yo, you see the difference between me and all these other rappers? Is I'm a gangster, fronting like a rapper. I'm a hoodlum in Hollywood, acting like an actor. I don't wanna kill nobody, but if you have to, you have to. I'm off all these niggas out, man. Fuck who the best. Only reason I rap, cause they don't give you no drug tests. I hope niggas is physically fit, get murdered too quick, take all the fun out of it. Who you think behind niggas getting stuck in the game? Matter of fact, I'm about to change my name, tuck in your chain. Fuck security, nigga. Got a whole hood beside me. I rip a nigga 30 seconds flat, you can tie me. It's business. Ain't nothing personal. I done stuck up Sony, Def Jam, Polygram, Universal It ain't nothing, I clap y'all niggas You ain't noticed, they don't ever find rappers, killers From Big to Jam, Master J, down to Tupac When that shit go as far back as Scott Rock. So don't get brand new with me, son This nigga is vintage Half of these rap niggas I invented Walk around the streets with the fifth of my waist If I ain't had cotton mouth, I spit in your face And stick your fingers, motherfucker OPM, a lot of niggas get Get killed this shit, don't beat up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yo, why your niggas is busy playing motherfucking P3? I'm on the streets getting these motherfucking M3s, nigga. You feel me? Huh? Major independence, a hundred mad. For my niggas at G4 TV, we in the engine room. We putting it down, you heard? My Onyx cohorts couldn't be here, but you know, I rep for the whole team, bro. I grew up in Brooklyn, right? And I think uh, the first time I ever got exposed to hip hop, it had to be like way young. Like, first of all, I started DJing before I was even rapping. I, I don't know how old I was. I was probably like, I don't know, 10, 11, something like that. Begged my mom to buy me turntables. She finally got me the turntables. The records I had that was popping with was uh, Run DMC, of course. You know what I mean? I think I had some UTFO and some Roxanne Chante. And mind you, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm like 11. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm, I've seen it done and I'm mixing. Think I'm doing. Matter of fact, my mom's had a baby shower for my little brother and me and my cousin Fredro was DJing the baby shower. So you know we was sneaking Bacardi. You know, in between records and everything, but the real other introduction to it, I, I, I say, it came later years when I was in high school. You know, I used to beat on the tables and everybody used to rhyme. Whether you freestyling or whether you saying something that you wrote, it doesn't matter if it's freestyle or written. It matters if it's hot or not. You know what I mean? The earliest stages before everything got professional, we had ciphers and everybody just out there having fun. Yeah, sometimes it would get heated because. You know, it all starts with somebody saying a rhyme, then somebody else saying another rhyme, and then everybody start dissing each other, and that's when it gets funky. Because you're not just saying a rhyme that you wrote to diss somebody, you freestyle off the top of your head. Which means, in order to do that correctly, you're talking about what they're wearing, what happened that day, da 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 da, -da and it's getting real personal and real sensitive. So yeah, it will get heated sometimes, and sometimes, you know, you have to break it up and, you know, keep it moving. But we use all brothers and it's all love, so we get over it real easy, you know? The skills and the tools that it takes to be a, a lyricist versus a freestyle battle guide. First of all, I think it's um, illa to be a lyricist. Because freestyle, anybody can freestyle. You know, you might not be the best freestyler on the planet, but freestyling, like, to me, it, it's more fun. Because you're poking fun at things that surround you, you're just pulling things off, da 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 But lyricist, that's when you really get in depth to really, like, like the art of it, you know? It's, it's like being a race car driver and driving a car opposed to the guy building his own car that he wants to race against these other cars. So writing rhymes is like building your own car. And freestyling is just jumping in anybody's car and just driving, you know what I'm saying? Freestyling is freestyling and it is what it is. If somebody say freestyle, that means go off the top of your head. But you gotta understand it, there are some rappers that got like a lot of individual lines in their head. And they could go from line to line to line to line to line. Now, technically, that's freestyling because they never put it together and wrote it down, you know what I mean? 
As a lyricist, I think that, you know, like comics and movies and, and you know, not just that, just life. Everything is, 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 is a sponge, you know, and I'm sponging everything. It's input, you know, and it just puts you on, on, on another plane. Like, for instance, you know, I read mad comics, but people are like, oh, you read comics? You're like a grown man. First of all, comics are not for kids. They got adult content in there. They're cursing. It's big words that kids can't even understand. And so, yeah, I definitely incorporate everything that I come across that I see, hear, smell, taste, or touch into my rhymes. I use my senses, you know? I'm real biased when it comes to comics, you know? My, my favorite comics are only Marvel, first of all. My favorite character is Logan. And it's either like, you know, any... X-Men anything, but not anything, because they do got some X-Men that I really don't like, like the Astonishing, I'm like, huh, whatever, boom. Anything X-Men, Logan, Punisher, the Hulk, you know, I'm just, I'm a Marvel head, you know?